check out our new terrarium. It takes up uh, all of what used to be our kitchen table and then some. And uh, yes, those are dinosaurs. Now that shouldn't surprise you because around Glen Rose, the dinosaur capital of Texas, dinosaurs are everywhere. Uh, needless to say, a setup like this isn't cheap uh, and it's messy. Oh, there's Bob. Uh, you really have to stay on top of the cleanup or it'll stink to a high heaven. Uh, these little pteranodons never fly far from the terrarium. Uh, I guess they're afraid if they land outside of it, they won't know how to take off again. Now, when they get bigger, that's a different story. Uh, some of the animals, when they get to be juveniles, will just hop right off the platform onto a chair and then the floor and uh, the larger uh, pteranodon things that follow them. They're so cute when they're little. They are just the cutest things. And they don't eat that much when, when they're small. You, you, pinkies and stuff like that. Little mice, lizards. Now, is there a Compsognathus in here? There is. Claudia's not paying any attention to him at all. And the dog's just laying next to the Compsognathus. How weird. <clears throat> hey, hey, preacher, do something. The dogs don't seem to mind him at all. In fact, they, they kind of play with them sometimes. But normally, they just sort of ignore them. At... But boy, they grow really fast, too. <laughs> and needless to say, they eat a lot. This big girl here is only about a month old. Well, lucky for us, since we raised her, she thinks of us as her parents. <laughs> There's a little bleeding head of Arnold Palmer there. Those uh, pteranodons flying around her, Every now and then she holds her mouth open and they pick food uh, out from between her teeth, which is why her teeth look so clean. Another thing you have to watch out for is parasites. The, the, the parasites grow big too and they don't stay on the dinosaurs. I'm afraid we've had some pretty creepy surprises, so we keep cans of bug spray and a few pistols around. Housebreaking this baby was not easy. She stays mostly outside. Uh, obviously, we can't keep her forever, but luckily, the nearby wildlife safari park, Fossil Rim, is happy to take on dinosaurs that have outgrown their welcome, uh, as it were. They're planning to open a side park called Cretaceous World. Sometimes they escape from there, though, and find their ways onto the surrounding ranches. Well, it appears we have an oviraptor in our uh, next-door pasture. They are just amazingly tame. Uh, it's not a good idea to feed them by hand, though, because they'll take it right off without meaning to. And don't ever try to ride one. Boy, we learned that the hard way. Jesus. Guys, you went right through the fence. Some of the stray ones we encourage to hang around because they keep the yard grass and the brush from getting overgrown. The herbivores, I mean. Uh, this dimetrodon eats rattlesnakes and copperheads along with other varmints. Uh, so we, uh, we keep him around. And we quit seeing coyotes after we got him. The cats steer clear of him. Although I think he's more afraid of them than they are of him. 
a majestic animal. I just love watching these guys. Uh, like I say, the cleanup can be a bit brutal. You, you need a big box and a heavy duty sack and a shovel. The dinosaurs really are everywhere in Glen Rose. Uh, there's a cool state park where there are excellent dinosaur tracks in the Paluxy Riverbed. Uh, these tracks are what put this town on the map. Those in the bootlegging and the uh, <clears throat> rubbing doctors. Uh, we even have uh, dinosaur tracks in our property. My brother discovered them. We've made plaster casts of them. We have a whole other video about that. Uh, tracks have been removed from the riverbed and displayed around town. Uh, there was even a booming business in fake dinosaur tracks here. And there's a big creationist museum that displays lots of fakes. But yeah, there's dinosaur statues and stuff all over town. Some are really good, like the ones at the state park. And then there are the cute ones. In fact, there's a theme park called Dinosaur World with at least 50 garishly painted life-size models, ranging from pretty good to pretty cartoonish looking. Uh, this music, by the way, is by our friend, the Rudy Schwartz Project. This one at the miniature golf course is the stupidest looking one so far. Sometimes it verges on uh, overkill. don't want this to happen when you're really high. Or so I've heard. We're going to have to let Big Bertha here go pretty soon because uh, she's been wrecking my garden. He's not a really big Brachiosaurus. Nice voice. Uh, this one is actually a, a juvenile. He's real good for thinning out the live oak branches that grow too near the house. Oh, oh look, he's laying down to sleep. This is when he was just a baby. He jumped off the terrarium and ended up climbing into our bed. Isn't he cute? That is just the cutest thing. They really like to cuddle, but we don't sleep with them. Uh, for one thing, the, the dogs get jealous, and there's also the problem of parasites. This monster spider climbed right out of the portal, wanted to eat the baby dinosaurs, or maybe my toes. I threw a shoe at it, and it went away. Uh, but now I wish I'd lured it out and milked its venom, which evidently some people will pay a lot for. Uh, don't ask me. Maybe they get high on it or they think it's an aphrodisiac or something. I've got a comp Sognathus in the bathroom with me. I'm trying to train him a little bit. Sleep. That one, uh, too, outgrew his house pet status. We're not sure where he hopped off to. Uh, Bertha here 
is real friendly. Tyrannosauruses have an undeserved rep for being violent, like pit bulls. And we also have a pit bull dog. Uh, Bertha will let you walk right up under her and scratch her belly. And she especially likes being scratched with a garden right. I never could train her to sit, but I did teach her to play dead, which you'll see at the end of the video, because, well, it's a good ending. Demetrius the Dimetrodon here was actually easier to train than my hound dog Buddy. Watch. Stay. S speak. Good boy. That's a good boy. Now sit. 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 Oh, okay. Then just lay down. Did I mention the stupid dinosaurs? This is the Creation Evidence Museum, which uh, we visited with famous atheist Aaron Ra. Uh, we have our own competing museum, the Destruction Evidence Museum, with uh, prehistoric fossil devil skeletons, cave subgenius skeletons, even an alien from the Cretaceous, and his robot. And of course, I collect toy dinosaurs. Oh, this music, by the way, is by our friends, the Psycho Skeletons. Uh, here are some typical shots of our yard and some street scenes around town. We got a sneak preview of the Cretaceous world animals they've collected over at Fossil Rim. Uh, that section opens in 2022. Yeah, well, some of these are just clever replicas. This Dilophosaurus looks really scary, but he's a big, timid cream puff and is actually scared of the dog. In the Jurassic Park movies, this dinosaur was shown spitting deadly poison, but they don't really do that. They do, however, puke and drool incredibly smelly and sticky, gross gunk. The dinosaur doesn't want to fuck with these dogs. Oh? Mm -mm. It's scared up. Incidentally, all of the dinosaurs are scared of the cats. Here we see a massive stegosaurus shy away from Star Lord. I loved dinosaurs since I was a toddler, and when I was a teenager, I was so glad when my parents moved out here to Glen Rose. This music, incidentally, is by our friend Brian Henke, and I'll let it take us out along with this little slideshow of family fun on the ranch. <laughs>